Ndatasha mwese abakunzi umusaraba. I greet all of you the lovers of the cross. Mbabwira ngo umwami wacu Yesu ashimwe kandi ahimbazwe. And also telling you our Lord Jesus be praised and also be exalted. Ndashibere ko kino gitondo kiba gitondo cy'umugisha. I'm thanking you also for this good morning, this good morning of a blessing. Every morning when we wake up, we have to thank God. As usual, these are the morning prayers we normally do at 5 o'clock in the morning. And we've seen God doing might work in these prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. And this Sunday we praise you God. We praise your mighty name. And we are saying you are holy our rock and you are holy our God. We exalt you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let's read a word we find in Mark chapter 14. And verse 38. Jambravango Move Maso Musenge Mutaja Mosha Umotimani wo Ukunze Ariko Umubiri Ufite in Hejenye Amen. Or let's read and chapter eight is saying Watch and pray lest so that you don't enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. There are three enemies of prayers. Or what we can call the hindrances which hinders people from praying. The first one is the life of not repenting. Something of not repenting to stop. When you don't repent completely, you cannot be have confidence or to be bold to speak before God. And the word is saying that when my heart is not judging me, there I am bold. You, you know the heart of someone, of a human being cannot be bribed. The heart cannot be bribed. When you're right, your heart tells you. And when still you're wrong, it tells you this, the truth. And someone might say, we have prayed with the prophet, we've prayed together, but he hasn't told me my sins. We've gone into prayers, we had a good fellowship, we've taken long in prayers, but no one has told me about this and these things. People may not see it, but Jesus sees them. Yes, Jesus sees them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything someone goes in. Whether they are good or bad. The eyes of God is upon you. The Lord is staring at you. Their God is looking at you. Looking at the things that person is going in. And God is looking at the life that person is going through. Starting from 37, God told the Israelites and told Moses, I have heard the, the cry of my children. And I've seen the problems or the mistreating they are going through in Egypt. There, God sees everything. God understands and listens to all. The heart. The heart can dare, or it may fear or be bold, according to the situation you're going through. Maybe according to the situation or the days you're going through. When you're in the time of not repenting or in the wrong time, and in the days of unsanctified, the heart will tell you to repent. After you're repenting, 
There you be bold of yourself. The second hindrance of the prayers which fights your prayers so that they do not reach far. You know, when we are fought by the enemies and we can say that three enemies, the world, the world's mean is a lot of programs, a lot of things which are going on. And the flesh Na Satan. and Satan. But here I'm going to talk about this small thing. I'm going to talk about the flesh. Umubiri. The flesh. It may manipulate your life. It may try your life. Ahanu hamwe. And in one place. Ukakubuza gusenga. And makes you not to pray. Akesh. And most times. There are people their flesh or their body. Makes them file to fast. Bitewe na peti nyinshi. According to a lot of ap appetites they are having. Bitewe nu urugwai. Maybe the sickness they are having. Ndece akavada shobura gufatu mwanyo gusenga. Ngobyuki mwijora senga. And you find that person is unable to wake up in the night and pray. Karyama. You sleep until morning. Sleeping is good. There is time to rest and also time to pray. Let's give the glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another great enemy of the prayers the hindrance of prayers. I can say it's also worked in the body that is laziness that Jesus went on the mountain with his disciples to pray. In the time that climbed up, they had started to pray. These men fell into a sleep. They, the sleep caught them. They went into deep asleep. Sleeping in term of prayers, it is shows even your spirit, your, your spirit is sleeping. In term of praying, and the time also to look. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is time to sleep and time to be awake and pray. This is not time to sleep. It is time for you to be awake and pray. The Bible is telling us of two women who went to report to King Solomon. There were two women staying in one house. <laughs> and these women were staying together in one house one of them got a problem of giving birth to a kid then the kid died after the death of this child and the life of this child had ended because he was together with that woman they were together in the same house went and changed the child who is dead and put the one who the dead one and took their life kid. took the, 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 the kid who is alive and left there the dead one when you get a spiritual sleep if you are not awake in the spiritual way an enemy will take your living kid and instead changes for you and gives you a dead one that's when you realize there are people they were having good behaviors. And one morning you find things have changed. That's when you find their people. You'll find their people. They used to love fasting. One night. One morning. And you find the prayers are dried out of them. One time I was praying. I was preaching. The Spirit of God came to me and started to prophesy. And God told me, Here there are people. They are around eight people. They are bewitched in the night when they were asleep. They bewitched them in the night when they were asleep. They were given food by the witches. 
And after squeezed them, Satan, Satan ye, when needs you, he first squeezes you, mwanya, mwanya squeezes you and take away the time of prayers. In you. Maso yao. He first breaks out your eyes. Samson, Samson Philistia, the Philistines, when they caught him, the first thing they did. They removed out his eyes. When you are not in days of prayer, time of getting closer to God, an enemy will remove out your eyes. And everything will come and fall on you. And the baby is saying that God will do nothing before telling his servants who call upon him in the morning. In the evening. He will first tell his intercessors nothing God will do. Mm -mm. Nothing. Nacho. It won't happen before him speaking it first. Before declaring them out. He will first tell them what is going to happen. Where does he tell them from? At the altar of prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These two women, one took another one's child and took the child and left the dead child. When woke up in the night, one was going to breastfeed the kid, for the child is dead. And she got a funeral. You sincerely. When you're asleep, in terms of prayers, you'll get a funeral. You get a, like, a, a fake funeral. You'll get a fake funeral. You'll get a fake funeral. Nothing is there but you are the funeral. You'll cry. And you're scared by everything. Anything coming, they start scaring you. Everything scares you. But when you're awake, hey. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that when this woman woke up in the morning and looked at the kid that was sleeping together and she started looking at the eyes of the kid and looked at the ears of this child and she said, this child doesn't belong to you. Me. When you are awake, you cannot cry the fake tears. Hallelujah. 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 Sela Joseph. The father Joseph. They told him that Joseph had died. And he bit into his chest. And he told the clothes he was putting on. And yet Joseph wasn't dead. He was in Egypt. He was getting closer to his promises. When you are asleep. In terms of prayers. You find you are scared by nothing. And you may find what is scaring you today. And things which are making you mourn at the funeral today. Those things are fake. And this woman said, This is not my child. The other woman has taken my child. Jesus is saying, Be awake. Be watch and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The heart wants it, but the, the, the flesh is weak. There are people who get so rude when they are having a pastor and tells them to pray all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be watch and pray to be watch and to pray. Hallelujah. Let's pray at this time. May the Lord Jesus give you the powers for you to be awake or to be watchful. There are two things to pray and to be watched. To be watched and to pray. Hallelujah. Raise your voice. Father, in Jesus' name, we receive your grace. We receive your powers. We receive your anointing. We know we garagaz. Come and manifest. We know we tamuri. Come and manifest in our lives. Papa. 
Father, power the revival. So come your Christ Power the Father, living Christ. Send you the channel of Jabazim. Break the altars of the demons. Send you the channel of Jabadim. Destroy the altars of demons. La bande koti kazala. Hallelujah. Melo meningi ya koti kazala. Hallelujah. Hello, we were young Amen. The lingi yo wa yazange binima. Amen. Alo belanga yazolema. Amen. Nisina guys. In Jesus name. Awazimu ba she. Demons to burn. Demons is re kure. Demons to lose. Watchiru muka kusenga. Receive the spirit of prayer. Muri tuiva turi. In his morning hours of prayer. Dabusenge ye. I pray for you. Moye sakwambi kimbara. Jesus gives you the powers. Akwambi kamavuta masha. Receive the new anointing. Watchira mavuta. Receive the anointing. Yo busenga praying watching in baraga so busenga praying ibya kurwanya gabishe ndare kuyu muriro kubiganza byawe ndare kuyu muriro nibere oya ndare kuyu muriro i wish alema hallelujah takute vo men shai hallelujah tolibing ya kota haro munu witeka there is someone aligukiza Someone who is healing you. Someone you are getting healed from the scary demons. demons. Every day you dream bad things. And those things are scaring you. They are powers of God. They have destroyed every evil plans of the oh! world. Hallelujah. Si teka. Hallelujah. Mabondi inge zalama. Amen. Brebigo zoto ta ima. Amen. Mazando lo brige nema. Amen. Haritela go wadja wazimu. There's a scaring of demons. Mwurju unde tenu wundi. In different ways. And they're getting powerless. It is getting authorityless. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Spirit of the Lord. Move around in the sky. Ban all the demons. demons. Ban the demons. Everything destroyed. Everything dry in prayers. I pray for this person. The prayers have squeezed out of them. Receive the life of God. Receive the heart of worship. Receive the anointing of prayers. This morning. In this early morning. You receive the powers of the Lord. Receive the anointing of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me say bye bye. We are going to continue again at 10 o'clock. I continue to remind you, continue inviting people. In the prayers, we are going to start tomorrow on Monday. Tomorrow on Monday, we are starting the prayers. And he's going to be having fire. Tomorrow, Monday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things are going to be hot like fire. And the spirit of prophecy is realized by those people. Invite your friends like around 55 people. Bring them to meet the glory of God. Lord Jesus bless you. Let me say bye bye.